Hey everyone, time for a new episode of my vlog. Um, today I'm, I'm gonna check out the band Getaway Van. Uh, a friend of mine uh, is the drummer, and so uh, I'm gonna head out to their show. It's always fun for me to check out some of my fellow local artists uh, and their gigs. You know, if you want people to come to your show, you gotta come to their show, but more than that, it's just it's just a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's awesome to be a part of the local uh, the local community, the local musical community, if you will. Uh, I've heard that uh, for at least a little while this is going to be their last gig, uh, but they're going to reconfigure themselves and uh, and get back in it in the next couple months. But I'm excited to check out uh, this big gig for them. And also it's a big gig for their opening act, uh, which is a group called Fellow Kids. It's their, uh, their CD release party. I I've never... I don't. I don't even know them, but I'll check them out. We'll see. We'll see what they're what they sound like. Uh, there's four or five bands in this bill actually, and we're gonna try to get there early enough to catch to catch all of them. It's it's at the Astoria on Hastings in Vancouver, which is a historic venue as well. So I'm excited to check that place out. Uh, I've never been in there before, so this will be a first for me. So uh, come on down, follow me to this fun show. Well, we're parked here on Hastings, and we've got a clear view of one of my favorite buildings in Vancouver that unfortunately I don't think I'll ever get the chance to explore on this vlog as it is not open to the public unless they do some sort of tours I'm not aware of. But it's the British Columbia Sugar Refining Co. which was built in the first decade of the uh, of the 20th century I believe in the 1900s. Just look at the just the construction style of the building. It's so amazing. It's so huge and it is still used by the Rogers Company to, to refine sugar to this day. You can see kind of that in behind it is, is a port where the sugar cane is, is sent to them and it's been being refined here for like 120 years going on now. I just love to explore that building even if it is super industrial. We're coming up to the Astoria Hotel now. Beautiful neon sign that almost works, but not quite. The front facade of this building gives off some serious Doug Weston's Troubadour Tavern vibes to me. I actually got a chance to visit the Troubadour uh, in Hollywood, uh, in Beverly Hills, uh, a couple of years ago, and it, it's a real shame that I wasn't vlogging yet, because that was an incredible trip. Just look at this place. The Astoria was built in 1912. It was originally... Just an apartment building. But uh, in 1950, they converted it into a hotel, and I think that's when this famous pub opened up and when they put up this glorious neon sign. The neon was all broken as of about 10 years ago. Then they put it all back in, and, well, by my view, it would appear to be completely broken again. It now reads Asta Hotel on both sides. Uh, I guess the way neon works, it's interesting that the same lights are out on both sides of the sign. <laughs> Which is a bit of a shame, but it's still cool. There's a ton of cool neon on this, on the downtown, in the downtown east side area here, actually. Including this paint shop, where only the ink tea are lit up. You got another cool hotel across the way called the Woodbine. It's just a cool place. And here's one of my favorite things about this building this old ad for it that's still here. The Astoria Beer Store and Pub. I'm... Is it still a liquor store? Oh, it is. Okay, it's still a liquor store, so that sign's still accurate, but uh, one of my favorite things about this ad is that behind it, just to the right here, you can see one of the A's from the Astoria Hotel and what would appear to be... Oh, you can actually make out all the letters underneath the sign. Astoria Hotel from the sign that would have existed previously to this one. Fascinating. And there's another glorious one on this side. Looks great. The architecture in this place is actually fascinating. It's so old school in here. And I'm really liking the inverted pool table ceiling decor. Awesome. Old school dance floor as well. Gotta love it. They've really made an effort in the past few years to rejuvenate this back into one of Vancouver's leading live performance venues.
Some show uh, getaway van kicked all kinds of ass it was just the best all the other bands were great as well haven't been to a good solid uh, new rock show in a long time um, usually when I go to concerts it's like old bands from the 60s that I've just paid way too much money to go see but the that was awesome I enjoyed myself so much um, glad I went I, I'll, I'm also a huge dork so I'll be honest I also enjoyed checking out the Astoria. <laughs> a lot of history in that place. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to keep this outro brief because it's now 2 a.m. and I, 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 I have to get up in, oh god, like five and a half hours uh, because I'm playing in DeRoche and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be my fourth time this summer <laughs> playing at the DeRoche Farmer's Market and possibly my last one of the summer. So gonna be awesome four hours of singing but i gotta go to sleep right now for a full list of all my upcoming tour dates i'm also a live musician if you didn't know uh, i'm also a professional full-time professional musician if you don't know that uh already uh in the description you can find a full list of all my upcoming tour dates and uh as well as everywhere that my music can be sold or streamed online uh including bandcamp.com which is just really awesome because you can get any of my albums by donation uh, which can be free. You don't have to pay any money if you don't want to, but I appreciate so much any donations that I do get. They just keep me going. Um, so thanks so much for that. And uh, like this video if you, if you liked what you saw. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you've been liking all my content. And uh, ring the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, which will be tomorrow and every day for the foreseeable future. That'll do it for this. Check out my vlog tomorrow, which will talk about my glorious trip to DeRoche once again. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Catch you again tomorrow.